In the last episode, my death stone glitched and I lost every single thing that I had on me. I still have all these chests with a ton of loot in them. So first thing I'm gonna do is smelt all of these ores that I have. With two stone, I'm gonna upgrade my stone axe. With four stone, I'm gonna upgrade it to level three. With six stone, I'm gonna upgrade it to level four. And it's at max quality. So the default bronze axe is 13 to 23. And the max tier stone axe is 11 to 20. So it's only like 15% worse. I'm gonna load up the kiln with wood, load up the smelter with coal, and I'm gonna start processing these ores. While all of this is processing, I'm gonna chop down some wood. Got myself a decent amount of wood. One full chest. I'm gonna go ahead and organize my storage facility. These are the last of all my bars. And this is what we have acquired. Look at all that tin. Look at all that copper. I'm gonna grab all of these and turn them into bronze bars. This is the very slow and arduous task. Five at a time. Gonna have to get some more tin, but from that, we got 50 bronze bars. And honestly, I thought I was gonna get more. Question is, what do we craft now? Gonna get some deer skin, some tan hide, and some core wood. I'm gonna craft some things that I lost. I'm gonna craft some new things as well. Gonna craft a fine wood bow, and I might as well upgrade it too. And upgrade it again. And that might have been a mistake because now I'm out of deer hide. Fuck! I did a bit of hunting, now I have 17 deer skin. Gonna grab my bronze. Gonna make a bronze plate cuirass. Bronze plate leggings. A bronze helmet. Make a bronze axe. Make a bronze sword. And a buckler. And finally, I'm gonna make a bronze pickaxe. And that is every single one of my bronze bars depleted. And we are looking mighty thick. Why do you look so depressed? Be happy. I'm gonna do something a little more relaxing, a little more enjoyable. I'm gonna start building my new house. But before that, I need to gather some core wood. Here we are in the black forest. Here are the pine trees and from these we get core wood which is used to craft much bigger much stronger foundational pieces for the base first inventory done got around 100 core wood i think i'm gonna do a few more runs i did a hefty amount of wood cutting currently level 45 in wood cutting and look at all this core wood got around 350 time to start building with the core wood i could build four meter long beams and these things look Thick, god damn but they give much more structural support than the normal wood and that's just what i need the primary foundation is complete and it's pretty much just a big ass square i went ahead and placed these additional foundations these will be necessary to place the floors and to ascend even higher the tall wooden pillars are now placed took a while but the floor is now installed call me stanley steamer now it's time for the walls i'm just trying to build and the forest is moving now why is it so laggy leave me alone who am i kidding this is a joke i got bronze armor i can just tear through them. probably start training my blood Locking level it is quite low. I never really use my shield. I'm usually always attacking. God damn, skill only level eight. Look at all that XP. And the forest is no longer moving. All the walls have been placed. Time for the scaffolding roof. This is the final scaffolding. Time for the roof. And this is the final roof. And we are fully enclosed in our new house. What to do now? God damn it, not again. The forest is moving and it's raining out. Leave me alone. Well, I guess it's time to level up my blocking once again. I went ahead and made some cubbies. Gonna build a campfire in the center of my base. But before I do that, I need to make myself a chimney system. And there is the chimney, which should provide sufficient ventilation for these fires. I'm quite bored, so I'm gonna go ahead and do something I haven't done before. And that is venture out into the swamp. AKA, where the elder is. But before I do that, there are a few things I need to do. For starters, I gotta get some tin, copper, make some bronze. Here we are, mining some tin. I'm gonna go ahead for the long haul. While running back to base, I'm gonna clear out as much debris as possible and i'll tell you why in just a second 10 bronze nails 20 wood this is gonna be our second car just gonna store all the metal in here and when i'm ready to leave i'm gonna take this back to base gonna load up this tin ore and back to mining we go the cart is looking pretty juicy almost 900 pounds of metal time to take it back to base and oh boy am i walking slow that wasn't that bad really makes you wish to be able to transport metal through the portals though time to get to smelting my fine wood bow is now max quality with wood resin and feathers i'm gonna make some fire arrows as well as some good old wood arrows since I do have nine certling cores, I'm going to go ahead and make an additional smelter. Put that right here. And our bar production has just doubled. Gonna offload all the stuff from the cart. And baby, we are about to be in business. Going to make some bronze bars. I'm gonna make 80 bronze nails. These will be used later. I'm gonna upgrade my bronze plate cuirass and my bronze plate leggings, as well as my helmet. They're all level two. Question is, should I use the bronze to upgrade it even more? Nah. Gonna upgrade my shield. Gonna upgrade my sword as well. In my inventory, I have the required items for a muddy adventure. I have the materials required to build a portal and a ship, a car. I'm gonna rename this to Swamp, and I'm gonna start heading west. Destination, the Elder. Damn, it's a lot of boars. Here we are, the westernmost point of this island. Beyond us, only blue skies and unknown worlds, ready to be conquered. Gonna place the carve in the water, just like that, and we are ready to sail. Destination, 
all the way over here. The world awaits, and god damn, look at the size of that mountain right there. Those dead trees over yonder, that dictates we are about to enter the swamp. And we have made it here, the new land. It is a black forest biome. I believe I can just get out now. I'm gonna set up a little encampment here. Since this is the black forest, if I do place a portal, mobs will attack it. So I need to defend it. This is quite scuffed, but it will work. I'm gonna set this tag to swamp, and it's connected. This portal all the way... This portal all the way by the elders going to be back to base. Let's go. Here is the spawner for the second boss, the elder, the tall motherfucker. Burn their young. Going to place these three ancient seeds in here. One, two, three. Going to equip my fire arrows and it's time to fight. And pretty much all we do is shoot arrows into him and hide behind these pillars. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And dodge those fucking vines, goddamn. Then when these vines come up, you just got to run away to the next pillar. And this is the elder completed solo all by myself okay you dead now and from that we get the elder trophy and the swamp key this key will be used to unlock the burial chambers in the swamp which have a lot of very good materials and that's my next goal venturing into the swamp and unlocking the mysteries within since the elder is defeated i no longer need this encampment so i'm going to take it down and it's time to set out to the swamp luckily it's not too far from here i'm going to set up right here don't want to get too close to the swamp so those mobs don't attack me what the fuck is that that's new that's a leech haven't seen that before and the portal has been placed and we're ready to venture into the swamp a draugr i think these are the vikings that Dabo was talking about you just said block and attack 43 that's a lot low hp though so easy kill only did 18 on me what do you drop entrails and i can make sausages now ancient tree this is new let me chop this down and from this ancient tree i'm assuming we're gonna get normal wood what give me some ancient logs oh it's dark as fucking okay those blobs i heard those are very annoying they could poison you so i'm just gonna set on fire and they jump there's so many mobs here and I'm poisoned for 20 seconds, doing four damage each. Oh shit, I'm gonna be so close to dying. That blob is fucking OP. And there's two of them right there. Don't tell me they can jump in here. Don't tell me they can jump in here. They can jump in here, oh! Oh, that's a leech. Come on, at me, bro. That poisons me too. I'm fucking dead, aren't I? Come on, dude, come on. Yep, I'm dead. <sighs> All right, note to self, just range everything. From that blob, you get ooze. Just used to craft an ooze bomb. Gonna make some bronze bars. 15 to be exact. Gonna craft this bronze mace. And I'm hyped because my class was canceled. I got a whole nother week to study for this exam. Gonna upgrade the bronze mace to level 2. And we're ready to return. Apparently this thing can one-hit the blobs if you attack like this. Got that slam. Yeet! We're gonna do try number 2. And supposedly, I'm just supposed to avoid everything until I find that crypt and just keep on running. Deb, I see the Grim Reaper. Kill it. I'm gonna hit him with a bow. Hurry, man, man. I hit him. Didn't do anything though. There's some glowing shit in this tree. I've seen the tutorial, so I know what I'm supposed to do. They said I should be able to one hit these blobs with this axe. We're about to find out. Come here. He dodged it, bro. That's not a one hit. I'm fucking poisoned now, dude. Wiki, you were capping so hard. Wiki! I'm so salty. I'm pissed. Go up here and I mine this shit. Guck sack. And from that, we get guck. Oh, I'm fucking dead, dude. Clearly, I'm not as ready as I thought I was. Here's my items. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And I'm not coming back till I'm ready. Oh, what the fuck? This jogger just one tapped me. I'm pulling out the big guns. I got a fish, a neck tail, and a piece of meat. This is the most my health has ever been. Finally back. Get me the fuck out of here. With 10 tin, I can make one cauldron. Put that right there. And he needs a fire under it, okay? Cauldron placed. And with this cauldron, I can craft different types of soups and foods and jam and sasuges. You can make frost resistance, healing potions, poison resistance. That is what I'm gonna need. With 30 fine wood, 5 bronze, and 10 resin, I can make a fermenter. This is one big old barrel. Looks like I make this soup, and then I have to ferment the soup. Every single one of these soups requires 10 honey. And I only have 3 hives. I'm gonna go venturing out and try to find some more queen bees. Dude, I found this burial chamber. This shit is multi-leveled. Look at this. I got 10 certling cores from this one location. Well, I didn't find a single queen bee, but I did find 30 certling cores. I found a few burial grounds, got lucky. 10 honey, five thistle, one necktail, 10 coal. Let's make this poison resistance. Now I'm gonna add it to the fermenter, and now we wait for it to ferment. With two entrails, one meat, and four thistle, I can make sausage, and many I will make. Eight raspberries, eight blueberries, make four queens jam and my food is looking pretty good the fermenter is done fermenting let's tap this 
Six poison resistant mead, very nice. Found another swamp. Gonna set up here nice and far from all the danger. And hopefully we can find some sunken crypts. Dude, this thing is ass. Literally the smallest island in this entire game of swamp. Gonna break this down. This swamp area turned out to be a dud. Time to continue exploring. Okay, I see a nice big swamp in the distance. This could be the one. Oh boy, and it's connected right to the plains and there's a death squeedle right there. And they're aggro on me, get the fuck away. This thing better be faster than that, god damn. The thing will fucking two hit me. Oh fuck, this is not good. Stuck without wind in the middle of this tiny ass river? What the fuck am I doing here? What? Why would I- Fuck me. Oh, the wind just changed! Oh yes, thank you when you just saved my life. Finally a beehive, I only had to search across the entire world for one. I'm so confident in this swamp being the one that actually made a nice home base. Step one on how to cheat the swamp. Just look into it from the meadows, because as soon as you go into that biome, it becomes dark as fuck. There we go, dude. That is what I like to see. That, my friends, is a swamp crypt. Let's open this gate, and it doesn't consume the swamp key. And let's walk inside. Sunken crypts, oh boy. This is very, very spooky. These muddy scrap piles we need to mine. So let's do just that. And from these muddy scrap piles is where we collect scrap iron. Upgrades are in sight, boys. There's so much muddy scrap in here. Am I really gonna have to upgrade my bronze pickaxe just to mine this? This is the largest settlement I think I've seen. Collection of Viking longhouses with a ton of droggers guarding it. Don't mind if I kill every single one of them. Oh, it's like a sniper mission. I get to kill all of them without them realizing it. Oh, never mind. I missed. How many of them are in here? Oh, shit. There's a spawner. I don't want to get rid of that spawner because I could kill these guys for entrails, which is used for making sausages. So I'm going to leave these guys alone. My frost resistance is done cooking. Let me take this. That will be useful for venturing into the mountain. Gonna upgrade my bronze pickaxe to level 2. And to level 3, because why not? Gonna make another poison resistance. And while I'm in this swamp, I'm just gonna let this ferment. And back we go to mine some more iron. I think this is the big boy chest right here. <sighs> Moment of truth. 17 iron. So from that one sunken crypt, I got 39 iron scrap. Before departing from here, I'm gonna explore the rest of this swamp and see if there's another crypt here. I'm pretty sure this is the only sunken crypt on this entire island. I'm gonna keep this teleporter here because this is a useful place, but I believe soon it's time to depart again. I'm gonna chop down a few birch trees. I need their fine wood. I'm gonna place down an additional portal right here. Let's just call it portal two. I've required items to craft another one on me. My additional poison resistance is done. We're ready to go swamp hunting. I'm gonna head out east from this island. There's still a lot of unexplored land to be found. Priority, we're looking for another swamp. I want another swamp crypt. Sailing is pretty slow and I found this ginormous island, so I'm just gonna dock this real quick. I made a dock so the materials won't sink to the bottom of the ocean. Got my boat, and now we run. On this huge island, there is an immense swamp going all the way from here all the way down here, and I already know there's gonna be a few crypts here. I'm gonna set up camp in this abandoned castle, and I just realized I forgot the materials to make a portal. Fuck me. We're so far from base, dude. Come on. Well, that's not gonna stop me. That just makes things extra risky. If I die, I'm fucked. Actually, wait. There's a black forest right here. If I can find a burial chamber with certain cores, then I'm safe. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why is there a death squid on the black forest? Get the fuck away from me. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. I was starting to lose hope. Thank you, thank you. There we go, portal two, much better. I was starting to lose hope. Traveled all the way from the top of here to the bottom of here, but we have a dungeon. Oh shit, what the fuck is this doing here? Mosquito, this is not your land. Fueling, oh. Oh shit, where's my shield, bro? Oh my God, that thing is hard to hit. Fueling's after me. Ow. He's after me! Die! Fuck, I can't hit him. Escape, escape, escape. Escape! Escape! Oh. Oh shit, 15 metal right off the start. And my pickaxe just broke. I'm gonna rest up, and my time on this island is done. For now. I'm gonna depot everything into the boat. And holy shit, almost 60 iron scrap from that one. And I didn't even mine all the money scrap because my pickaxe broke. Anyway, I'm gonna sail to the old base at the old swamp location. While I'm sailing, I'm gonna order some food. Hi, right, can I place an order for pickup? Pickup? Uh, let me get 18 buffalo wings. 18? Yeah, hot. Hot, okay. Ready 
Oh, that's it. Here we are. I'm gonna take the iron in here, put it in here, and we are out. And we have made it back to the mainland. I'm gonna take some metal, and it's time to start the slow process of movement. I'm gonna start loading this up with wood, because we're gonna need a lot of charcoal. And it's time to start processing our first iron bars. And that is all the metal transported into this chest. Let's collect some of this. And we just unlocked a ton of new items. I'm gonna go ahead and finish smelting the rest of these bars. This site right here is one that I've grinded to see. Me standing over my forge with over a hundred iron bars. Scratch that. 97 iron bars. And sadly, it takes a lot of iron to make a single item. Look, 20 iron bars for a mail top or a greaves. I'm gonna make an iron pickaxe, an iron axe, and an iron mace. This mace is gonna be used for killing the next boss. And I'm gonna save the rest of my iron for later. Look at all this distance I've traveled today. I think now I'm gonna relax, rearrange my base, organize everything, maybe add a few new additions.